Hey everybody, welcome back to No Man's Sky. This is Alan Paul. So we're going to be doing a series of videos in the upcoming weekend. Just a few of them, of course. This one is going to be an oddball one. We're going to be doing a video about nanites. Now, of course, I got that nanite video I put out a while back, but I had someone make an interesting comment, and they said that there was a more legitimate way to get nanites, one with uh, curiosity deposits, and a second way with purchasing uh, some of the banned items, uh, if you will, contraband from an outlaw station. And you know, obviously, when you open them up, you would get certain upgrades, technological upgrades that you could then resell to the station for large amounts of nanites. Sometimes anywhere between about 350 to sometimes up to 800 nanites each. So, very nice. Um, so I looked into these. I went ahead and did it myself and I mathed quite a bit over the last couple days trying to figure out how uh, what the best ways to do it were uh, how many nanites you get literally per hour so we're gonna go over this now of course the method that I used in taking out sentinels uh, is probably still the best way to do it It is the cheapest way to do it in my opinion it's the most fun I have a blast taking out sentinels and I have a really good time doing it so that's a whole nother story in itself it's all up to you about your, your particular type of uh, gameplay your game style that you like to play as so if you want to keep it more peaceful that's perfectly a great way to do so curiosity deposits are an excellent way to do it the outlaw station is another way to do it but I'll but there's uh, pros and cons to doing both so Let's get started. So, as you're, if you're wondering where I'm at, I'm on my uh, sky base here. Um, this is some place that I uh, developed the I, I didn't develop the idea. What am I talking about? I got this idea from watching other players. Beeblebum, in particular, is my favorite to watch as far as his glitch building is concerned. I'm actually uh, in the middle of watching one of his videos uh, back and forth in regards to that right now. Um, so, anywho, uh, getting back to the subject at hand, we're going to go ahead and get started by going to my curiosity base. So I happened to find on a planet a while back in the Euclid galaxy a big curiosity settlement. So let's go ahead and head over there. And off we go. So while we're on the way, go ahead and explain. So this curiosity base I found, I was running across the landscape in this one paradise planet, I found a whole grouping of 24 of these uh, curi uh, curious deposit balls. Um, so as you know, you can mine these. They give you something called Runaway Mold, M-O-U-L-D, by the way. And you can take that Runaway Mold and put it in a refiner and convert it into nanites, of course. It's a 5 to 1 ratio on that, so for every 5 items of Runaway Mold, you get 1 nanite. So as you can see, there is the deposit right there. Now, the trick to it is you mine it as quick as possible. Then you have to get far enough away and come back for it to respawn. Now, a couple different ways you can do that. Either you can go ahead and jump on your ship and fly away real quick, come back. But the fastest way is to take short-range teleporters across the landscape to a distant spot and then come back. It actually is much faster than jumping on your ship, flying away, and coming back. So, that said, let's go ahead and get started. Now, you can see I've already got the timer on the screen, so I can give you a rough idea of what we're looking at. I already know what the time is going to be like, but I'm going to go ahead and show you anyway. So, live with it. Here we go. We're going to get started here. Um, hopefully my voice is a little better. I haven't used it in a few days. I haven't done any recordings in about a week. So, uh, I'll be doing about, <clears throat> well, let me see, five or six or eight recordings over this coming weekend. And posting a couple over the weekend, and then I schedule a few out, and that's the way I kind of do these things. So, Oh, and by the way, you know, uh, honestly, here we are, how, how far into this? Four minutes and 12 seconds into this already, and I haven't said thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for so much for watching this video. Uh, we've just hit 200 subscribers. Uh, the funny part is about, uh, I guess, two and a half or three weeks ago I had no more than about 40 or 50 subscribers so the fact that we've got two uh, another 150 people uh, subscribed is fabulous really appreciate all the support thank you very much I don't plan on stopping I plan on continuing to do a lot more content so hopefully you enjoy what's here feel free to leave comments I always try to respond to everybody uh, if there are no questions I at least try to like your comment at the very least um, and throw some hearts your way but at the same time if you do have a question or you do have a comment that says hey I got a better way of doing this you can do something this way or hey the audio has been a bit off lately 
say something. Because I go back and listen to my videos, and of course with my headset and with the equipment that I have here, it all sounds great to me, but I don't know how it sounds to you. So I've had people from the very beginning say, hey, your audio is too low. No problem. Let me make some adjustments. And I've actually gone back, re-recorded, gone to another computer, listened to it play through a phone, through a, a tablet or something like that, just to see what it comes across as. So I think I've got the audio right. I've got the game audio in here, too, so you can hear a lot more of what's going on in the game. So let's go ahead and get started again. Uh, here's my curious deposits. We're going to go ahead and use my OSOC that I have here, the one shot, one killer. But I've got an unmining beam, so we're going to go ahead and start taking these out. Let's get the timer started and move along. Okay, that's two. You can count for me, two if you wish. Three, four, five, six. As it heats up, it gets faster. Seven. Eight, nine, try to stay away from that mushroom, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, let go for just a second, sixteen, almost sixteen, there it is, seventeen, eighteen, wait a moment, well, that was interesting, nineteen, I did have that right, right, twenty, twenty-one, Okay, hold on. 22, 23, and 24. That gets 24. Watch the timer. So we run back over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We're out here. That should be far enough away. I was testing this earlier. Oh, I fell off of there. That's okay. And we're back. And there they are again. So let's hit the timer. So what do we got? Minute 16 seconds. That's about the same that I've been running into. About a minute 15 to about a minute 25. All right. So let's talk. <clears throat> I know this part's a little bit boring, but let's talk for a minute. We're going to math the crap out of this. Sorry. It's the only way I can put it. So with the curiosity deposits, we've got 24 of them. How many did we get? How much mold did we get? Let's check my exosuit. Scroll to the top. Here we go. Here's the mold that I collected. As you can see, this time I collected a little over 16,000. On average, I've been pulling anywhere between about 15 to 16,000. So I'm just going to go with the low end for a second, and I'll explain why. I just want to go with a little bit of a rounder number at 15,000 right now. Okay, so even if it's 16, it's an extra thousand. Don't worry about it. If one were to keep this up at a minute and a half and keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, about 90 seconds, if you will, and I'm rounding it up, and I'll explain that later. Why would we round it up? It's going to give them less. Don't worry about it. You'll see why in a minute. So for every 90 seconds that I collect, about 15,000 of these. Okay? If I... That would give me about... 96,000 in about 10 minutes. In a 40-minute time frame, that would give us 384,000. And what we would do is we took those and put them in refiners and refined them. Now, why am I going 40 minutes? I'll explain that in a moment. If we put them in refiners and refine them, and it takes about 20 minutes to refine them, so hence the 40 minutes, give you to a total of one hour total of getting it all done, that would end up with 200, pardon me. All right, where's my math? So 240,000 mold in 40 minutes, or... 48,000 nanites in 40 minutes. Well, in an hour, if you will. Now, if we were to keep going with this, if we said that we could refine them instantly or instantly turn them into nanites, we could literally walk away with an incredible amount of nanites. It would be easily more than I'm getting from the Sentinels. So even if we, if we change the time to, say, a minute 15 seconds and we were really getting 16,000 per, we could literally get way beyond the 90,000 nanites I claim to get with the Sentinels. That said, it would be more. However, and this is where the however comes into play. The however is it takes at least 20 minutes to refine a full stack, which is 99.99, just under 10,000. It takes 20 minutes to refine those 10,000 runaway mold. Now, the harder part of this is that you have to have the refiners to do it. So you think to yourself, if you do the math, it would require upwards of about 
with the 40, if we go with the 40 minute version, it would require at least 25 refiners to work all these. 25 refiners. Okay? So let's think about that. Now, if you go to your base and you put in refiners, you get large refiners and you get medium refiners, which require no carbon to run them, right? If you put those refiners in your base, you can only have up to five, two large ones, three medium ones, in a 50 unit spot. So a 50 unit radius, you have to go out 50 units from where you place them, and then you can put another five. 50 units more, another five. And you could continue to do that. Now, if we come back to the planet here for a second, now I could do that right here. That's probably about, it's probably a little more than 50 units to that next transporter pad. But if I put five units here, then five units at the next set of transporters, five at the next, five at the next, five at the next, see, what, see where I'm going with that. I could immediately boink, put them in there, put the stuff into the refiners, boink, go to the next one, put them in the refiners, go to the next one, go to the next one, go to the next one. And I could literally get that done. And it would take me probably a good couple of minutes to get that done, at least five minutes. So you see when I said if I rounded up to a minute 30 instead of a minute 15, that's where I'm making up the time. Okay. So literally you could get all that done. You could get all 25 refiners running. And in 20 minutes time or maybe just a little bit over, you would end up with 48,000 nanites in one hour. Except here's the great part about this. A, you're not fighting anything. It's a very nonviolent way of doing so. There are nothing to fight here. There's nothing attacking me. There's no animals attacking me. No sentinels attacking me. Nobody cares. I mean, listen to the music for Pete's sake. Even that's very pleasant. So if you're just looking for a relaxed way of making a good amount of nanites in an hour, hey, this is the way to go. And the best part is you can just keep going. Keep going and keep going. If you want to spend three, four hours knocking these things out, you end up with a couple hundred thousand nanites. Yeah, well, the only thing you've lost is a little bit of time. It's an excellent way to do so, and I have nothing against doing it. Except that it's a grind. This is me. This is the negative side, and this is only my humble opinion here, folks. To me, it's a grind, and it's not a lot of fun. That's all. However, on a good day, I'll come here and I'll harvest these. Why do you think I have a base set up here? It's because I do come back, and I do get these curiosity deposits and I good turn I turn them into nanites because that's a good way to do it all right so we've kind of concluded on this so we really could turn this this could be a lucrative way of getting a lot of nanites and getting them in a very peaceful way or as, as my friend put it legitimate <laughs> okay so let's move on to the next way the next way was with an outlaw station now the only way to get to an outlaw station you go into space you can you can uh, uh, hyperspace out to an outlaw system and find an outlaw base okay that said um the only way you can portal to one is from your own base portal you can't get to it from a space station in a peaceful system it won't allow you and vice versa you can't get from there to a space station of any type a legitimate space station I hate to use that word again but there you are so we're going to go ahead and do this we're going to go ahead and go here and i'm going to look for a space station that is a outlaw system and why look there's one right there with the little skull at the bottom corner isn't that sweet let's go ahead and go to that pretty little system i know ignore my voice i'm a little bit uh i don't know a little bit off today deal with it while we're at it we'll go ahead and reset our timer <clears throat> so the next way is with the outlaw station now i've got literally pieces of paper with notes on them so i'm going to go ahead and pull these uh, Outlaw Tech. Yeah, here it is. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay. So the Outlaw Tech is a neat thing to do. Yep, I'm in the Euclid Galaxy again. So what does this involve? This involves not those two guys. This involves this guy right over here. Okay, so let's go to my inventory for just a second. Uh, I don't have anything to worry about. I got this here. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay. So we're going to go to the Black Market guy here and check out his inventory. So the inventory that this uh, this wonderful person who left a nice comment um, told me is we're looking for a specific piece of inventory. Um, hang on just one second here, folks. Okay, so I decided to look something up real quick. I couldn't remember the name of the individual who actually made the comments. The funny part is, is that the name of the individual who made the comments, who subscribed, is literally their name is no name n-o space n-a-m-e no name love it 
So no name. He's the one that suggested this. All right. So what we're looking for is suspicious stuff. We're not looking for the, the goods. The goods are not important. What you're looking for is on the next page, the suspicious packet arms and suspicious packet tech. It's the arms and the tech that you're looking for. Now you'll notice in this station we have three each. Okay? So what you're going to do, and I'm going to start the timer as soon as I purchase these, and there's a reason for that. So let's get the timer going. I'm going to go here. Timer's going. Buy it. Buy it. We got six of them. Let's jump out. I'm going to go over here. Here's my tech, and I'm going to open all three, and I'm going to open all three. So you see I got three pieces of tech. I'm not going to hover over them to show you anything just yet. So we're going to go over here and we're going to sell that tech to the salvage dealer. And here it is. Ignore that. So here's the suspicious movement module that we got for 333. We got a suspicious neutron cannon for 376. Life support 349. Ignore those. I don't know why they're still in there. Uh, 330 for the starship shield. 473 for the exosuit fragment. Volcaster, and finally Blaze Javelin, okay? Now, I'm not going to give you the exact numbers on this, okay? But the numbers are in an area of between 2,000 to about 2,600, let's say, nanites every time you do this. Now, you're thinking to yourself, why would we do this every time? Now, look at the timer. Timer's at a little over a minute now, right? If I come back and I check out his inventory, you'll notice he doesn't have any anymore. Okay? I can't purchase anymore. Why is that? Well, it hasn't restored yet. So, if you, you may or may not know this. If you go to a space station and you purchase some items from the trade terminal there, and let's say you purchase all the, of a particular item, all the metal plates or something like that, you acquire them all. If you go back within a few minutes, they've already repopulated. Not all of them. Maybe if you had 50 to begin with, there may be like 5 in there after a few minutes, or 6, or 10. And if you wait long enough, it'll repopulate the whole inventory. So if I come back now at a minute 45, you'll see he has one of each now. So it's repopulating this. Now we know for a fact he'll have as a maximum of three. How long does that take? I actually have gone back and forth and back and forth on this and tested it and tested it and tested it over and over again. Uh, my time seems to indicate that it takes literally four minutes to repopulate that particular item. Now, I could be off a little bit. I think I might have been, so I'm going to check it right now. A little over a minute now. Should probably be at two. Nope, still one. Okay. So I want to wait until we get three again, and as soon as we see that there's three in there, we're going to go ahead and pause it. Okay, we're going to stop the timer. And then we're going to go over the numbers on this one again. And we're going to map the crap out of this one. Where are we? Tip still at one. Now in about, what, two minutes and 40 seconds. Let's see what it's at at three minutes. Actually, let's make it 245. 245 is a decent number. All right. Still at one. Okay. Let's make it three. We're going to keep jumping in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Because one of the things I told them is, like, I behoove myself to answer again without actually testing this out. But three minutes. Let's check. Still at one. This one's taking a little longer. I found in the past that it usually takes about four minutes and it's completely repopulated with all of them. 320. Where are we at? Two. Okay, so we got two there. I'm going to check it at 345 and I'll check it every five seconds thereafter until it shows up. And we'll, we'll round it a little bit. We're not going to round it down, you know, too, too much, but we'll round it a little bit. 335, let's see. Still at 2. A lot of noise in this station. They really need to work on it. 345, let's check. Still at 2. 355, let's check again. Still at 2. That's 4 minutes. Now, it's not an exact time, of course, but 2. Because maybe it'll take a few extra seconds, because after I walked away, maybe that's when the timer started. That should probably be more than enough. I'm hoping that we're at three. Nope, we're not. <clears throat> and it may vary a little bit. I've noticed it sometimes can vary. It was a little bit longer at one point, but it seemed to get quicker at times. It depends upon the system, I suppose. Two. 
You check again, we're at four and a half. Still two. Now I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt here, okay? That maybe this is just a, a glitch or something in regards to my game. There we are, three. Okay. So even though it's 4.45, I'm going to say four minutes anyway. Okay? So it takes you four minutes. Purchase them, go over there, sell, open them up, sell the items. You're going to get about, say, if we use the number of 2,500, okay? It could go real quick, and you could easily, easily get 40,000 nanites rather quickly. It could actually climb even faster than that up, up the chain as far as that's concerned. Because you think about, you're making about 2,500 nanites every four minutes. So, you know, doing the math on that, that is going to be a hefty amount. Now, here's the problem, though, and you're probably already seeing it yourself. But wait, Paul, how much money did you spend on that? And in case you're wondering, yes, I go by the gamer tag and lot, Paul. My first name really is Paul, okay? So, get past it already. So if I go with 2,500 as a round number, and we're making that every four minutes, which goes into 60 minutes 12 times, that's 30,000 nanites. Now, it could vary a little bit. You may get more, you may get a little less. Maybe you're going to get 3,000 nanites. But it's a decent amount of nanites. But how much is it costing you? How much is it costing you out of pocket? You could easily blow upwards of 10 million credits every single time you're in here. Now, you look at the top left corner at my units, and you can see I'm running at 4.2 million, pardon me, 4.2 billion units on my person. So yeah, I could spare 10 million here, 10 million there, 10 million there, and just keep doing it for a while. So that's fine. It is a decent way, a pretty quick way, a back and forth. There's a little bit of waiting around. I don't particularly care for it, because frankly, it took me a while to build up that money. And I don't think, personally, this is the best use of your time and money to get nanites. It's definitely a legitimate way to do so. There's nothing wrong with, do so, that, with doing it. But I'm going to show you a couple other things. You see these larval cores up here? Uh, you, may, you may have seen a couple of my videos and probably many, many other people's videos. Getting larval cores. They're expensive. 180000 I'm going to go ahead and grab them because I want to show you something here. And we're going to take those larval cores. And you already know they're worth a decent amount of credits. Right? So let's go ahead and just take those larval cores. I'm going to go back to one of my bases real quick. Let's go back to my bases, right? Okay, good. Don't ask me why it's named that way. I now call it Bung Base only because it's just funny as, as all get out to call it that. But laugh your butts off. Go right ahead. <clears throat> so I'm going to go back to Bung Base. Eventually, we're going to reappear at the base. Now, I don't know where I'm going to reappear, reappear at. Hopefully, I'll come out at the portal, but sometimes I pop up on the roof or just underneath the base. I actually put a, a floor underneath the base because it happened so often I kept falling for eons. See? Let's see what happens when it pops up. Oh, pops, put me on top again next to my uh, flag. Yeah, buddy. Anyway, moving back down. So let's go to one of my refiners, shall we? Take my little stairwell over here one of these refiners. So I go to this refiner, and if I take that larval core that we just got, if I can find it, here we go, and I put it in here, I get 50 nanites each. So if I find myself an abandoned uh, facility that has a whole bunch of these whispering eggs around it, I could gather up all those whispering eggs and I could turn them into nanites pretty quickly. But uh, you know what? Uh, I think I'd rather fight Sentinels to get those Nanites, because frankly, uh, as much as I, and you will see a video on this this weekend, I'm going to do a short and I'm going to do a video on how to gather Whispering Eggs in the most efficient way possible that can cause you the least amount of damage, and really, once you get used to doing it, it's not as panic-stricken as you might think. But regardless of which, you can get Nanites from these if you really, really want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do it, and it's real quick. Done. I've got my 100 nanites. Yay! And to show the point in regards to the um, runaway mold, see? Literally takes 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and get that started anyway. Now I could spread that grouping over across all five of these, but I decided against doing so. So it is what it is. 
Anyway, so this is the two ways to do so. So again, as I'm calling this, this is a kind of a bonus mission here. Okay, so we showed you two different ways you can get nanites in a more peaceful way. One's going to cost you quite a bit of credits. The other one, just a little bit of a grind, but it's definitely more peaceful. And by all means, I recommend both of them. Both of them are very good, and there's nothing wrong with doing so. Uh, to each his own. I prefer to take out Sentinels. So, while we're here, let's jump in the ship. And you may have seen that little red insignia floating around on my screen up there. That is a Sentinel Hive. So we're going to go there, and I'm going to show you something today. So this becomes, as you see by the title, it's kind of a bonus mission, a bonus video here. So the first half, the last 25 minutes, I described nanite farming. This second half is going to be about weapons. So I decided to combine it into one video. I was going to do two different videos. I said, ah, you know what? Let's go ahead and keep going. We're doing a good run right now. Let's go ahead and do two videos. So this lovely little chunk of land here, we're going to go ahead and drop my, my uh, ship down on here. They're not aggressive sentinels here, but they're sentinels. There we go, I got the walker there. So let me show you something in regards to my weapons. Yes, it's a hot planet, you can see it's a storm brewing and all that crap, so let's go ahead and get the mining beam up to charge. I'm going to get my thermal signature up. Okay, we're good. So let me show you something in regards to weaponry. Let's go to the multi-tool, shall we? Actually, you know what? Let's get out of the weather. Let's just go in the ship for just a moment. I'm going to spend just a couple minutes going over weaponry. So we've been talking about weaponry lately. And I've shown you guys this tool, the OSOC, uh, as I call it, the one-shot, one-kill weapon. Uh, currently, see, my damage is really not that ter not that fantastic at the moment. Still, 29,000 is nothing to sniff at. Why? Because I'm using a bolt caster at the moment. And I'm using it with X upgrades along with these guys now I don't have the best ones I really I did a lot of work on trying to get them but I got closest close to the best I could probably push a little over the 30,000 mark if I could find the three best ones out of the out of the uh, of the pool if you will and it could take forever and it literally took me I was doing this for hours to just get these three regardless of which I got some really really nice chargers here let me just look took a look so it even though it's plus one damage plus fire rate is 19. Reload time minus 16. That's very important in one shot per burst. Let's see what we got here. Plus 2 damage, 20% fire rate. So these, again, are not the best. That one's probably one of the best that you could probably find. And then this one. So again, not the best, but decent. These are all in the four supercharged slots right here. Along with the barrel ionizer, the ricochet module, which a lot of people don't particularly care for, but that's okay. Ignore this. It goes with the pulse... Uh, the pulse spitter, and I just leave it there. It doesn't really connect to anything anyway. It's just an off-board unit that's the uh, uh, impact igniter, so it's no, nothing to worry about. So you'll see I put my mining beam over here. I've got my my uh, uh, scatter blaster over here as well to use later on. But I wanted to show you this because it's something I didn't expect in regards to the bolt caster. I knew it was a pretty powerful weapon. It was a good, I always thought, third choice, but now I'm beginning to wonder really am because why watch this weapon fire I'm not gonna fire at anything in particular okay but watch this that's a mining beam not bad right I was shocked too idiot let me get over to the right thing bolt caster okay ready watch this watch the reload am I right It's almost continuous. You see what I mean? It is so stinking fast that that damage output of 29,000, I don't think it's very accurate. So guess what we're going to do? That's right. Let's take out some Sentinels. Now, I'm not going to go full out on this. This isn't a Nanite run. I just want to show you what kind of damage I can do in going through all five waves of these guys. And it shouldn't take long, so hey, at the 30 minute mark, we're going to go ahead and kick on to a full out battle with these Sentinels. Okay? I'm going to take the big guy out first so you can see what kind of damage this thing can do. And we're coming up on 30. Yep, got 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, one. Start the timer. Gone. And reload. And we're just going to wait for somebody else to show up. we got one to our left. There he is. Gone. Where's the next guy? He's over there. Gone. Who's next? Gone. Who's next? See what I mean? This is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I'm taking out everything around them. Yeah, about time the storm cleared. It was getting annoying. Hey, who shot me? I didn't see him. Sorry. All right, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Where are they at? Reinforcements arriving. So we're going to look this direction so we can get a clear area. You see there's a couple holes in the ground here. I've <clears throat> fought here before. Once or twice. Let's run at them. We're going to take out the support. Reload. Gone. Gone. And everybody's gone. Done. This is maddening. I don't know how to describe it to you. I mean, I thought the pulse spitter was satisfying. I think this is actually more satisfying than that is. Let's head over there and take them out. I mean, the healers don't even have a time to react. So if you forget to reload, you don't have to worry about it. Look at that. A little cache of those things. Who else? Oh, I hear him. There he is. Ooh. Gone. Anybody else? Who else wants to play? Unbelievable. Unbelievably quick. So we've only been doing this for two minutes. We've already taken out the first three waves. He didn't even get a shot off. Not one of them even got a shot off. Uh, he did. Eh. Through the shield. Anybody else? There is one more. I can't see him. Um, what the heck? Oh boy, we got one stuck in the ground. Oh wait, no, I, I see what happened. He went to the cave system here by accident. Ha ha ha! Let's get back over here. Look in another direction before they appear. Look in the direction you want them to appear from. You're basically choosing the ground. See? Gone. Unbelievable. And if you reload after every shot... Gone. Remember to take out all your, your bad guys. All the little guys around first. The healers especially, or else they'll just fight against you the whole time. Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. I know people freak out like, oh my god, it's a two-legged hat. And it's, by the way, it's an ATST. That's what I usually call it. All right. We're reloaded. Ready? Legs are gone. Gone. Watch. Yeah, they're done. Literally took out all five waves in under four and a half minutes. And don't forget, when you're getting your walker brains, get two for one at this special discount rate. Select it, and then shoot it. So not bad. I'm going to collect the goodies because I like to. And then, if you're not quite sure if there's any others floating around, 
Look through your visor and look for the little gear. Look for little gears that are floating around. It'll look like that. It's not damaged machinery, but it will come up as a piece of cargo left behind by one of the sentinels. I don't see any, so I think we're good. Okay, good. Looks like we got everything. And in case you're wondering, and another reason why I just love this system here, this is the wonderful thing about this system here. Let's see what kind of multi-tool it has. Yeah, buddy. It's got a royal multi-tool here. They always come as C-class at this place, and you can get them for free if you don't if you have the openings in your inventory. I do not, so I am not going to get it. I've already got one of them anyway, so I'm not really worried about it. Oh, wait. Hold on. It's not exactly exited yet. Sometimes it does that. Alright, log off. Okay. So that gives you a rough idea how these guys can do. Um, well, let's get back over to... It looks like we have a trader over there that landed. So I'm going to get back to my ship. Okay, so that worked out really nice. So let's go ahead and switch things over in my multi-tool. Now, before we do that, now you guys have already seen what the pulse spitter can do and what the scatter blaster can do, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to... Uh, I have to exit the ship to do this. We're going to go to our inventory. We're going to choose a new sh a new uh, weapon. Um, I've got another one just like this. And I call it... Cannon Crestwood. Why is that? Well, there's a hidden meaning behind that, and I will not tell you what that is. So, too bad. So, now that we've got it, I'm going to get in my ship. And we're going to go ahead and get out. And what... Oh, what? let me show you the weapon real quick, what I'm talking about. Someone mentioned that they loved using the Neutron Cannon. So, I thought, how interesting that you'd want to use a neutron cannon to take things out. I wasn't a big fan of it. So I went ahead and I put the voltaic amplifier in because obviously it's good to stun things. I've got the paralysis mortar in here too. Um, I haven't put, let me let me go ahead and do that. Do I have what I need? Yeah, let me go ahead and put a, not survey device, hold on a second. There we go. Combat scope, that's what I'm looking for to help reduce the kickback from it. Um, I don't think I really need anything else. I just kind of grouped everything else together to get it out of the way. But this is the same unit that you can get on that one planet we highlighted. So, uh, again, we got our four supercharged slots right here. I got X-Class upgrades, which should be the, the, the exactly the same. All three of them are exactly the same. Negative 25% charging speed, plus 13% ion sphere speed, uh, plus one in the ion spheres created, as well as plus 14 damage. All of these should be exactly the same. See? Just different orders. Just to show you what we got. Okay? Now, I was told that this only affects bolt casters, and I was told by somebody else that these uh, Sentinel modifications can affect all the other weapons. They just don't show up as the damage potential, but to go ahead and put them in anyway. So I went ahead and did. We've got the A, the, the P field compressor is also uh, uploaded in here. There are no other upgrades for the Neutron Cannon. I was very skeptical about this. Now, granted, you look at the damage potential, kind of like the bolt caster, uh, in the sense that. And while we're while we're waiting on this, I'm going to go ahead and exit the ship real quick. That's not exiting the ship, and we're going to do a, a quick reload that'll bring all the sentinels back. Uh, let me just make sure that that's correct. Let me just do it one more time. Something's not right about the time on that. Okay, restore point. That's better. Okay. So while it's reloading, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring the Sentinels back, we're going to go with the Neutron Cannon and give it another shot. Reset. And when we go in there, we're going to try this Neutron Cannon out, and I, I was actually surprised at how well it did. So this is going to be more along the lines of to each his own. I love the way the Pulse Spitter works. It's throwing out these pulses. There's no kickback on your weapon whatsoever. The Bolt Caster has a little bit of kickback. The Scatter Blaster has a lot more. So of the four weapons, I prefer the Pulse Spitter. I think Bolt Caster is a very close second. And they should have repopulated. Yeah, I see I see one of the Sentinels there right now. Okay. So the Bolt Caster is a, a, a very close second to that. And then the Scatter Blaster, when I just feel like making a lot of noise. And that's all there is to it. So it's it's really tied for second, if you will. But this was very interesting. So let's see what kind of damage we can do. Here we go. Let's get the timer going. And let's go.
Whoops, that was a miss on my part. Sorry about that. And you see it's also got, um, what do you call it, damage. Um, area of effect damage as well when you're shooting. So when you get these guys close by, you can take them both out with one shot, as you just saw. I literally took hit and the, and the healer out at the same time. And usually one shot, especially close by, and you don't have to re... And that's the thing, you don't have to reload. This thing works off of carbon. So you're constantly loaded. Now the funny part is, is I've also picked up everything from it as well because the blast took out the capsule that was dropped. Look at that. I just took out two of them. Four shots to take out everybody and I took out all the things on the ground. Is that hilarious or what? Very nice. Who's next? So, done properly, this could be a very formidable weapon. Again, not my not my favorite, because it does take a couple moments to charge. But... Uh, well, how am I missing that? That's my bad, sorry. Got him. I'm going to rotate a little bit. And you don't have to hold it down as long. You can just do a quick shot if you want, not get a full charge out of it. That It works. It's not great, but it works. Let's get him over this way, I think, this time. There we go. So this is level four. Nice. I keep hitting the right reload button. Oh, I heard something. Three. Four. Where'd he go? Five. Oh, not quite. Five. And six. Alright, who's next? We're going to look, uh, I think... Is there somebody else out here? Oh, well, guess where they are. No, he's not there. Alright, so we got a trap guy down here. This is going to mess up our... There we go. Now, why do these guys keep getting in here? Okay. Alright, let's deduct about, I don't know, a good 15, 20 seconds from that, just because of that stupidity. Uh, neutron cannon. Okay, we're back. Okay, so this is level 5. I just took out 3 with one shot. Was that 4? No, it was 3. Good gravy. Got him. Got him. Alright, anybody else? I think all we have is left is the two-legged walker, right? Okay, you ready? Here we go. Both legs. Gone. Timer done. Look at that time. Still just over four minutes. Just over four minutes. So actually faster. So if I did that to 15 seconds, honestly, this is right around four minutes to get this done. That is actually faster than the bolt caster was. So I'm impressed. I'm impressed. This was given by one of the other uh, people who are subscribed to the channel, and I really appreciate their their information on this. I mean, really, really appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. So, this has turned into, like I said, a really good weapon. Um, so, given the right multi-tool, once again, and you got to see that uh, that uh, video I did on 
finding that one really good multi-tool. And like I've said before, two things. Number one, the multi-tool that I'm talking about, let's get to it real fast, uh, which I've renamed, of course, um, it was found by a gamer called Ostentatious, and it, the coordinates are, are listed in the No Man's Sky coordinate exchange. So if you want to go there. Now, I've done a video as well about this weapon, where you can find it, the coordinates on the planet, etc., 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 and how well it performs. So, and we've, we've come across better performances out of this weapon as well. So that said, let's switch over to the other weapon. Back to the OSOC. And we're going to go in here. And one more time, I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to have to rearrange some serious things here. Let's pause for a second, and I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys back on in just a minute. Okay, and we're back, and I'm just reloading one more time. So I've got the pulse spitter all lined up. So again, it seems like just over four minutes, or right around the four-minute mark, seems to be the record of taking these guys out. Um, I always thought that the pulse spitter's reload time was the fastest. The great thing about a neutron cannon is there is no reload time. As long as you don't use up all 500 shots on it, you don't have to reload at all. So here we are, back on the planet. Uh, we've reloaded our... Our, our, our sentinels back again here. Yeah, there's a little guy over there and the other guy should be on the other side I'm assuming stomping away there he is okay you really need to get lost my friend uh, bad place to be so let's get over here we got the pulse spitter lined up and ready to go and we're gonna start our timer we ready timer started done who's next done who's next should be one more. Ah, it looks like he might be too far away. Got him. Got him. Done. Okay. So, level two. We got a few more. They just popped in. Where'd they come from? Oh, for crying out loud. One. Oh, of course there's an incoming storm. Isn't there always an incoming storm? What if I could stop the weather somehow? I don't know. Okay, so we're, what, a minute in. If we get level 2 to show up, there they are. Again, aiming is a little bit of a problem with this guy. That's done. Who's next? So another good thing about the new trunk cannon, you're going to run around and collect all the little barrels. Right? Okay. Oh, who's shooting at me? Oh, you. Don't want to let him call in any reinforcements. Gone. You notice how they were getting scattered at the end there. Okay? How the shots started going off because I kept holding it down. So a quick burst is sometimes better. Keep that in mind. Did I miss somebody? Oh, there is one more out here. Another one got stuck in the old hole here. Okay, so give me about, I'm going to subtract, say, about 10 seconds from that. Let's look at it this direction. Maybe we can get that. There we go. Okay, they're gone. We're on to level five. Okay. Let me get a little away from the edge here. I want to pull them over 
hopefully closer to me. There we go. Just trying something out here. Got him. Got him. I think that's everybody. Correct me if I'm wrong. Except for him. And I don't think we have any healers present, so let's get started. Okay. Oh, there was one healer left. Got him. And we're done. So that's about four minutes. Also, not bad. I mean, in comparison, if you think about it, the weapons seem to be pretty equal. Now, I could continue to test this over and over and over and over and over again. But did it uh, eat me? Eat, eat the uh, unit, I guess? That happens sometimes. Just in case you're wondering, yeah, that glitches every now and then, and you can't find the unit in question you're looking for. Sometimes you can see it. And get to it in another way but it looks like it glitched out on me there's some right there let me go over there and grab these real quick as you can see it came up as combat supplies yeah looks like the walker brain disappeared on me that eh, that happens once in a while now maybe i shot it out of existence too so that's a possibility okay no big deal it's not going to kill me so this weather will Let's get back to my ship. So that is the pulse spitter. And we can see how well it did. It's, you know, again, right around the four minute mark. Let's go to reset my clock. We're just coming up on the hour mark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause you for just a second. I'm going to reassemble uh, the gun one more time to put my scatter blaster in place. And we'll come back and see how it does time wise. Okay, we're back again. Should be reloading any second. And we should have our sentinels back. And one more punishing. And we can see if we can get that scatter blast to see how well it can do. Now, I'll have to get closer to him, obviously. Yep. Make sure we're all ready. Load it up. And you know what? Let me just do one more thing real fast here. There we go. Make sure I have the weaponry to be able to handle it, the, the ammunition. Ready? Hi, how you doing? Good to see you, buddy. Timer started. Gone. Reload. This takes an agonizingly slow time to reload. I might try to find a new upgrade for it. There you are. Gone. This thing's putting out about 45,000 damage. I should get another set right there. There they are. A little closer. My suggestion is you reload immediately. All right. Reinforcements arriving. Again, we're going to stay back a little ways and face this direction so they can come on the rise there, and then I can approach real quick. One. And gone. Okay, let's get out of the way. Come back. We a little bit less talking here, so I want to focus on trying to make sure I get these guys arranged just right. Granted, we can get that guy gone in, me in a moment. Oof. Could have pulled in some... Anybody else? Nope. Okay. Back the way we came. Reload. And get ready. Round four. 
There they are. Now to reload real quick. Bad shot, sorry. Gone. Anybody else besides these guys? That should be it. It's just him. He's gone. And that should be all of them. Now we're on to number five. We'll back up over here. Base that way. We are reloaded and ready to go. Took out two right there. Got him. Got him. Got him. Okay, reloaded. Need to take him out. Okay, take him out. Alright. One leg. Two legs. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And we're done. Uh, so, yeah, I'm thinking at 3 minutes and 43 seconds, uh, I think this guy's a little bit faster. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, loud as crap. Uh, hopefully you probably had to turn down your, um, your... Did this, like, reset or something? Oh, I want to. Right. There we go. I just want to get this... Uh, technology. See? Didn't have to dig for it. Yeah, I know. Anyway. Love that. Absolutely love that. So, yeah, the scatter blaster was surprisingly way faster, even though the reload time was slower. I wonder how... I wonder if I keep looking for upgrades for it. X-Class upgrades. If I can get some that have faster reload times, then I might be able to get this thing up to a speed that would be really, really cool much faster i might be able to get this time down to about three minutes for all five waves so that was really really neat um but yeah yeah not bad at all not bad at all so in one episode here we have conquered two different areas we have a nanite making method a farming method if you will for getting things taken care of as far as that's concerned to build up your nanite uh, inventory if you will you're gonna need it because you need to upgrade some stuff on occasion um, really love this system by the way I've, sh I've showcased this system a couple times but just to show you real quick uh, in the discovery section this is the reason why I love this Sahansi's system. It's in the U not Euclid Galaxy. It's in the next one over, the Isentim Galaxy, Galaxy Two. Uh, the planet I usually rest on, I believe, is Lemley. That's where my main farm is. This is Sarbog farm. Don't worry about that. Uh, two other bases, because one of them is my main base. Uh, but it's got this is the Paradise Planet here. But guess what? This is a Paradise Planet, and this is a Paradise Planet. There are three paradise planets in this system. These two have water. This has rings. This has no water on it and is red. So, hey, to each his own. We were basically spent some time over, I believe, on this one. And the other one is a swamp planet. So, really cool system to be in. I wish I had renamed the system when I had the chance, but I forgot to do so. And it, that's my fault. My fault for doing not doing that. But I still love the system. I ever, if I ever find another system to go to, I might create a new base. I don't know. But Whitney Outpost is the one of the first ones I did. No, I'm not going to trade you anything. Whitney Outpost is the first place I did, and that's when I made my Sky Base. So, so Sky Base is right here. In the act of doing so, I accidentally... Um, made the base computer too high and I can no longer reach it. It actually doesn't actually quite exist up there in the sky, so... But see, here's me approaching the sky base, so just to give you a rough idea. 
Not much to my sky base. It's not the fanciest thing in the world, but hey, I like it and it's home. And I like the clouds glitching in and out of it too. So there we go. That, as they say, is that. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, there was a lot of content here. I know. I know we did kind of split it into two halves. It probably would have done better as two separate videos, but now you know at the third and I put it in the description at the 30 minute mark we do a series of tests on weapons whereas the first 30 minutes is a nanite comparison uh, in regards to how you can get more nanites now of course I didn't show you going to that particular planet that I have my uh, nanite farm on that I just farm aggressive sentinels um, I've sent I've shown that too many times I may do it again one day uh, but in this whole series, that wasn't the focus. The focus was, let's concentrate on these two nanite types of farms, and let's show you the new weaponry that I've, I'm sporting on over here, and which one's more uh, valuable to you. So, again, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really appreciate everybody uh, and all the subscriptions that people have given me uh, over this time. I believe that it deserves what, even though it says a distant gaze, it's more of a salute, folks. I want to thank you all very much for everything you've done. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. And as I always say at the, at the end of most of my videos, there's always time to be uh, kind to other people and never criticize kindness, as well as always be truthful in everything you do, especially to yourself, because that's where it starts. Thank you for watching, everybody. Take care. We'll see you in the next video.